Soundstripe. Hi, welcome to our channel at Hosanna Horse Haven. If you're new here, we are a 501c3 nonprofit equine rescue and sanctuary. And we also have a new program that we've started which uses these rescued horses to help enhance the lives of others through equine therapeutic horsemanship and equine coaching. So join us today as we help welcome Nellie into our herd. The decision to bring Nellie in uh, wasn't made lightly by us. Uh, we wanted to know if we really could help her um, with the pain that she was experiencing. So Nellie's previous life was in another therapeutic writing center that Lisa works for. So we decided to bring her home and as we were waiting to pull the truck and trailer in, our horses ran around the ponds and everybody lined up at the gate to meet her to see what was going on. In this picture, you can see Ace, Yada, Sugar, and Willie. pretty calm when we unloaded her as she's looking around trying to figure out everything that's going on here. They did have some problems at the other facility with Nellie's behavior. She seemed to be uh, very grumpy there which could be due to you know pain or the environment just uh, things going on at the facility. They also suspected uh, some possible hormonal things going on which affected her behavior. But our experience so far with her has been uh, that she's a very lovely horse, very personable, very kind, but she does seem to look to humans um, for comfort and reassurance. So we're just trying to let her know everything's okay. We're not going to Here's another part of the welcoming crew here. From left to right, it was Boone, Red Lady, and Willie. We're just walking her around, making sure she can get used to this little enclosure that we're gonna put her in for several days while she figures out all the different horses, our routine and schedule, and always just making sure that she feels safe and comfortable in her new environment. So the reason for her surrender is that uh, the, the local veterinarian that the therapeutic writing center had actually diagnosed Nellie, <laughs> there's Boone by the way, you can see him wanting to be friends right away, um, but anyhow they had diagnosed her with navicular. So have you guys heard of navicular or understand what it is? Um, being a body worker, I have heard of it. I just am not a hoof specialist. Um, I do understand things and the function of the hoof. Um, so I thought that an actual navicular diagnosis meant that there was damage, degeneration, or loss of the actual navicular bone. After consulting with some specialists and sending her x-rays to the specialists, um, they feel that her navicular diagnosis um, is due to her bars and her hoof 
jamming and pooling up in the corner, which pushes it up into the soft tissue up in the hoof capsule. That's my layman's uh, understanding of it. Um, if, if you guys have comments and suggestions about that, we would absolutely love to hear those because we want to um, get her the best care and rehab that we can. Um, and just another thing about the navicular diagnosis, I did not understand as I was saying about the degeneration of the bone. So uh, apparently veterinarians also use this term if there's unexplained heel pain that they don't know where it's coming from or what the deal is with that, basically. Um, so we're just thankful that her, uh, all her joints and her bones look great. We did find a local specialty trimmer that trimmed Nellie at the facility before she came here to us. She actually was trimmed the day she came here. Um, and just after a few days, she's, she's been here about a week now since we've made this video. And you can see in some of these videos as she trots off that she is lame on one of her front feet. Um, lately, she seems pretty good. So we're gonna continue this trim cycle and see how she progresses. But like I said before, and here comes Boone again, really wanting to be friends Sounds there in the background. But like I said before, Nellie is such a unique horse. Let me just tell you a little bit about her history. Before going to the facility where she was at, she was owned um, by her owner where she was actually born on the farm. Nellie was a twin. I have never been around a horse that is a twin. It, it is extremely rare. And so since she was a twin, she was also a bottle baby. So that's kind of why Nellie looks to humans for reassurance and comfort. Um, but, you know, her personality, I think she kind of tries to protect her human as well. That's kind of what we've seen with her here on the farm in the last week. But that's just unusually um, rare. Uh, so, so the facility it had gotten to the point where they hadn't ridden her probably. Oh, and she's gonna take a good roll here. There's one. That's another thing that we've noticed with this horse, mostly white horse. Uh, as soon as you brush her, she gets muddy. But uh, back to the story. Um, they hadn't used her in their programs for about a year. Um, I do have a veterans group that I teach there at the other facility and one of the veterans is very connected to Nellie because she is in tune with his emotions and uh, when he starts having some stress and panic, Nellie kind of tugs on his coat to bring him back to the present moment. Um, and it has been said by him a few times that Nellie has actually um, extremely helped him and you know, helped save his life several times by bringing him back and comforting him and just being there with him. So given her circumstance, um, we didn't feel that it would be right for Nellie to be shipped to an auction or try to be, they actually had tried to sell her previously, um, which is very difficult. And as you, as we're watching this video and I'm talking to you about her, you can you can see her behavior there very quick. Um, she just was not interested in some of the other horses. She was more interested in us and what we were doing and what we had to say about this. She really, and you can see her limping here too on the trot. Uh, she just really, you know, didn't want to have them anywhere near her. Um, so she hadn't been used or ridden. Um, when she first went there, she was ridden. Um, so we suspect that this heel pain, this pooling of her bars, you know, it has occurred over the past two, three years since she was there. Uh, she did get regular trims and such. Um, but uh, we just feel that a specialty trimmer um, is her best option right now. And here I am just giving her some reassurance letting her know that it's okay, that we'll be here with her.
Doesn't it just make you wonder all of the thoughts going through her mind right now? Sounds dry. Over there is Sherman and Boone. Apparently trying to court her that she uh, doesn't want anything to do with them. So in Nellie's backstory as well, um, there was a writer um, that she had a big wreck with, um, and I suspect that it was all pain related. So a lot of these horses, the behaviors when they present, and you know, they can be labeled as many things, you know, unruly, uh, mean, nasty, you know, nasty mare, you hear that a lot. Um, in my opinion, um, if it is a good horse who has not exhibited this behavior, something absolutely is going on that we need to investigate and get to the root cause of what's going on. So that's what we're going to do with Nellie's Rehab. Um, we're going to do some diet changes and herbs for her hormonal issues and then continue with the hoof trim. Um, schedule with the specialty trimmer who will be working on those bars and her overall hoof shape. Right now her toes are pretty short. Um, the last ditch attempt effort at the, the riding facility was to put shoes on her. Um, their, their other farrier put shoes on her and uh, she just exhibited extreme lameness you know her limp she she couldn't even walk without trotting in a limp um, so I, I suggested that they pulled those shoes off immediately so they were on for about a month and they did not put them back on Sounds right. Anybody mentions the annoying sound stripe in the background. We thank sound stripe for the use of this music, and we're pretty frugal about how we spend money. And this was a free track. Y'all have suggestions on how we can avoid that? Let me know. Kind of going back to Nellie being a twin and a bottle baby. If any of you have experience with that, we would also love to know as we're trying to, you know, gain all the information, education, and tools that we can to be able to help Nellie, whether it's behaviorally or, you know, just her pain. She will also receive body work, red light therapy, and taping in addition to some of the other things that we've already mentioned. Um, and then I did say as well that Nellie's been here for about a week since this video has been made. Um, she is out and about now with, uh, we have a couple different lots, but she is with, uh, I think about four or five other horses in the front lot. Um, she does better around geldings and minis. So she does like our mini mayor Misty, gelding Kramer, Gelding Boone, um, our boss mare Red Lady actually um, has kind of charged her and put her in her place to teach her some horsey manners. So she didn't learn a lot of horse manners being a bottle baby. Um, so she can sometimes be a little bit of a bully to the other horses. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any ace she kind of gets along with as well. And we'll, we can post some of those pictures. I'll add some of those pictures here at the end of this video so you can see that. And then I also do have the x-rays and uh, a lot of pictures of before and after her specialty trim. A special shout out to Michelle Riley. And um, I cannot think of the other lady, the Oregon uh, Natural Hoof School that Michelle uh, is friends with and consulted with 
looking at the x-rays for her feet that helped us make the decision. Um, they did say some of the horses they were able to bring back and, and it does take sometimes up to a year of the specialty trimming and the rehab techniques to get the horse sound again, but we're willing to do that. Did you know that horses actually have a greater sense of smell than dogs? Yeah, I didn't realize that either. Um, I think I just learned that about a year ago. But as you can see, she's smelling everybody that's been in that pen and uh, what's going on. So yeah, any droppings or dirt, she's checking it all out. to get some of the mud off of her and the wind knots out of her mane. Just trying to spend time comforting her, which I don't know if I'm comforting myself or comforting her. Just letting her know that it's okay still, right? Trying to spend time with her. Um, she was kind of just out in a pasture um, since she hadn't been used much at the other facility, which also could attribute to some of her grumpy behavior. I don't know if you noticed, but as we'll put that board up there with the drill, the, uh, the screw gun, um, she didn't even react. So um, he's been working on our inside office, uh, carrying boards in, you know, sawing, hammering, you know, putting the screws in, all the headers, the ceilings, the windows, all these things. And she just pretty much follows him back and forth now. Um, nothing really seems to phase this mayor. Um, so, yeah, I, I've kind of jokingly said this horse is similar to a dog trapped in a horse's body, um, but she, she's not dangerous at all. Um, she will not run over you, anything like that. So she does know some boundaries. And it's a good thing that I don't mind about personal space because she likes to be in it. Sounds great. Soundstripe. 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 Spending more time with Nellie in the past week, I really truly hope that we can have a uh, help for this mayor. Um, if you feel so moved by her story and would like to donate to her care, um, please use our PayPal link or you can mail donations as well and just put Nellie, N-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, in the caption and we will make sure that all of those funds go directly to Nellie. And I really think she's going to make a lovely addition to our herd 
And uh, here she is following Willow around, and they were seeing me off to work that day. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel, watching our videos. If you would like to subscribe, that would greatly help, help us out a lot. Thanks again. Have a very blessed day, and we'll see you next time.